Implicit derivation, slope of tangent line. Find the slope of tangent line to the circle x square plus y square minus 6x plus 2y equals to 15 at 6, 3. So, let's differentiate it, both sides with respect to x and see what we get. So, we get d over dx of x square plus d dx of y square minus d dx of 6x plus d dx of 2y equals to d dx of 15. Now you know derivative of x square is 2x, derivative of y square is 2y, it was with respect to x so we have dy dx chain rule and here we get minus 6 and there we get plus 2 dy dx and derivative of a constant is 0. Now we can combine dy dx like terms right and we get 2x minus 6 plus dy dx and in the brackets we get we can we can write 2 also 2 times and we get we can take 2 common right y plus 1 equals to 0 or dy dx can be simplified we can write this as 2 times dy dx times y plus 1 equals to 6 minus 2x and dy dx equals to 6 minus 2x over 2 times y plus 1. Now which can be simplified further as 3 minus x over y plus 1. So we found a general derivative for the given question. Now here we need to find slope of tangent line to the circle at 6, 3. So I can substitute 6 and 3 here and find my answer, right? So I say derivative or the slope at the point given to us which is 6, 3 is equal to, so we'll substitute 6 for x and 3 for y, 3 minus 6 over 3 plus 1 and that gives us minus 3 over 4. So that is the slope at the given point and then we can write down our answer that slope at 6, 3 is minus 3 over 4. Right? So that is how we can do this kind of question. A point to note here is that you know we were given the point and we were not being asked to find a general expression for the derivative. So there was a possibility that we could have substituted 6, 3 right here. So we could have substituted 0.63 in this particular equation and solve for dy dx. So that was an alternate method and that could have saved us some time here, right? So what we could have done is substitute x by 6, right? So in that case, you get 6 times 2 is 12, right? And then 3 for y. And then you simplify your equation and get the answer. So you can do that part and then check your answer. That may be an alternate way. And in coming questions, what we will do is, we will not really isolate dy dx as we have done here. We will do the substitution and then continue because at times it could be very complicated. This one was simpler so we prefer to just move on. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.